Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna talk about something really special and that is YouTube ads, specifically using YouTube ads to drive traffic to your affiliate links and make affiliate sales. Now, uh, when it comes to YouTube ads, there are a lot of different ways to do it and there are a lot of different ads actually, different ad types on YouTube. But in this video particularly, I wanna talk about uh, video ads itself because there are, there are display ads on YouTube that you can actually use as well. But we're gonna talk about video ads. Now, if you don't have any videos or if you don't know how to make videos or if you're not comfortable making videos on YouTube, it's completely fine. I'm not actually gonna show you how to create good videos that are actually going to work on YouTube, right? Because you, there are, because as an affiliate, one of the things I do is that I make a lot of videos in other niches that I'm not comfortable with. You know, my main niche is obviously affiliate marketing itself, but I promote products about weight loss, dating and stuff like that. And you know, there are videos that I have to make that I actually don't have any, I'm not involved in it at all. And there are ways to make good videos that are actually going to work for YouTube. So I'm going to show you how to do them as well all right guys so let's get into it so first thing I want to talk about here is the funnel itself I'm gonna explain how do I actually use a couple of videos to create a rapport with the potential buyers or people who are interested in the product potentially and then drive and drive traffic because usually what people do on YouTube is that they have the video and they just you know advertise that video get people to click the link or something like that and they send link to whatever they're trying to send the traffic to but uh, the problem with that is the conversion rate is going to be really really low but if you're willing to actually spend a little bit more money a little bit we're talking about but this actually saves money up front on the conversion side i'm going to show you how actually but it's a very powerful thing to do and it works really really well so the idea here is that i use three videos okay and two advertising types types one is basically two of the videos are going to be discovery ads and one of them is going to be in stream now let me explain how this works so I get two discovery ads okay in case you're not familiar I'll explain what is a discovery ad so the discovery ad is basically a type of advertising that people actually have to choose to click on you know it, your videos show on uh, search results they show in a uh, recommended section of the video other videos that people are watching so these videos they're not forced on people the people actually choosing to watch them which is a good thing because you want to have that you want to have the type of campaign where people choose to click on it right so these videos are valuable videos they're discovery ad okay so we're going to just call it discovery so these are discovery ads and uh, sorry if you can see that uh, so these are discovery ads and what we do is we use this to create a retargeting uh, list right so we create a retargeting list and we send the the people who watch these videos to an in-stream ad so this is an in-stream ad so the idea with this is that after people watch these videos right we send them to an in-stream ad where they don't have they don't have a choice they have to watch it this is this in-stream ad is going to show in middle of the videos the beginning of the other videos stuff like that so this is where they see the final video and this final video is going to ask him to click on a link because in these two videos we don't actually ask him to click on anything we're just providing value and building a rapport asking to subscribe to the channel stuff like that but here we're actually you know targeting them and asking them to click on something and we send them to a funnel now this is the fun part where it's you know uh, important but really simple really super simple so there's an opt-in page right and then after that there's an affiliate link simple you know nothing crazy here uh, nothing complicated but the funnel the video funnel is very important so guys what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna actually take you to my computer, okay? I'm gonna show you this in example because there are a lot of different ways to create this. And um, I actually have some examples to show you. I'm gonna do an ad in front of you because I'm working on something myself. So uh, I'm gonna show you how this works and there are different ways, you know, there are, I have actually a package that some of our members use, which I'm gonna show you the advertising in example. And then uh, we're gonna show you the other stuff as well. All right guys, so let's go over there and let's talk about this. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ad in front of you because I'm working on something, as I said, and it would be a good example to show you. So first of all, let's talk about making your videos. All right. That's the most important part. 
as I said, there are a lot of different ways to make your videos. You can record yourself if you'd like, you know, it, and that is uh, something if you, again, if you want to make serious money online, if you want to have good ads, uh, I strongly recommend learning to do that, getting used to that, because especially on YouTube ads, especially it's a YouTube uh, video site, um, it's quite powerful when you ha when you do that, when you uh, when you have the ability to make your own videos and it's just you know you you have no limit there's no back and forth delay if you're ordering and asking someone to create it so uh, it would be a, a skill to have and it would be a good skill that is going to make you money but anyway i'm going to show a couple of a, a, a couple of different ways that you can do this if you don't want to record yourself so first of all you can use canva now canva is a great site you know if you actually go open a free account you can make a video you just search up for the video and uh, it allows you to create these awesome slideshow videos and you can do all sorts of stuff you can edit these videos and let me actually show you for example let's just drop uh let's see there's spawn for example let's just do this uh, it's an example all right uh but yeah so you can just you know have these videos i see there's slides down here and what you can do is you can basically you can actually use this uh, side right here like there you go um photos you can have uh, elements actually you can just drop them right here in your video and you can actually have videos there you go so you can just search for videos for example if it's about travel or if you you know if let's say you're promoting a product about travel you can just drop the video like this and there you go it just pops right there and you can change these you can add more elements and again you can do a lot of interesting stuff with canva now, uh, what I recommend strongly to do is to actually have a slide, uh, to have a voiceover too. You don't want to just have a video. It's not really uh, compelling when you have just a video. So um, either record yourself talking, uh, have a script, you know, just read through it, record yourself and just add it with using an editing software to the video you create here. Or, uh, you know, pay someone else to do it. You can go to sites like fiverr.com and send someone a script, they're gonna actually read that script like really nice and professionally and just have that done for you. It's, it's quite powerful, you know, like that's another way to do it if, if you wanna spend some money. Um, so yeah, so that these are some, you know, ways that you, you can make videos without having to be in front of a camera, all right? So what I wanna do for this example here, guys, is I have a couple of videos. Again, as I said, I have the package um, and this is like, let me just go here, there you go. So this is the package I'm talking about. So this is these. This is a package that we give to some. Let me just make this smaller. So this is a package that we give uh, to some of our members, uh, some of our affiliates who are interested in promoting adversity. And we'll, it, you can do a lot of interesting things. I mean, there's that's a whole course of program by itself. I'm not going to talk about that. But I have uh, some of the videos that we give inside this package uploaded to this channel. This is a channel that I use for advertising and stuff like that. Um, now. I'm going to use two videos. As I said, the strategy we're going to use is two discovery ads and then one in-stream ad that targets people who watched the uh, discovery ad. All right. So uh, we got two discovery ads. I'm going to choose two of these videos. And then this is my in-stream ad. You know, it's a two minute video. Uh, and it's just like talks about, hey, thank you so much for watching my videos, all that stuff. So uh, quite simple right quite simple so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is actually you want to create choose the videos that you want to target now uh in this case i'm going to uh, choose something that is very interesting to click on um so for example this okay and i'm going to tell you why so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to youtube ads platform here and i'm going to go to audiences all right so it's just from tools uh from the tools right here you want to go to audience manager okay and first you want to create the audience for these even if they don't have any views right so i'm just going to go ahead and click this i'm just going to say youtube users audience name just give it an audience view a certain video right so just make sure you select the right channel there you go you got to connect your channel to ad account that you use so there you go so that's the certain video all right that's it so profile that's fine and that's fine we're just going to create this there you go so that's video number one right so let's go back to our channel again and choose the second video again you can you can do this even if you don't have any uh, views on the videos doesn't matter because what happens is that uh it, it 
automatically fills it as you run ads to these all right so don't worry about that um, so there you go so I'm just gonna select the second one I'm just gonna go ahead and YouTube users let's give it TLA video 2 and viewed certain videos there you go there you go so now we're just gonna there you go create it that's it so now we got the retargeting audience right so now I'm just gonna go on YouTube and create an ad for these two so let's go ahead and do that um, just gonna create an ad I'm gonna open a new campaign and I'm gonna call this discovery um, video just gonna create that custom again it has to be a custom campaign so just you know uh, don't use all the the what is it the pre-formatting stuff that they give you not good um, so I'm gonna call this discovery or actually just you can actually just call it anything you want because I'm gonna use I'm gonna have both in stream and um, uh, discovery in this campaign all right just gonna call it TLA advertising doesn't matter so we're gonna give it a daily budget of $50 but this can be anything you want again up to you really it's it's your choice um, and countries you can select specific countries in this case I'm gonna go with US and um, then let's see what else oh actually one of the things that we want to choose is networks and I usually drop out the partners the video partners I don't like it it's just I want my videos to only show on YouTube nothing nowhere else all right uh, standard inventory is fine and then extended I usually uh, select these two so they don't show on live streams and embedded YouTube ads alright and uh, related videos you can actually have some related videos if you actually uh, have some you know this shows if you're running discovery ads so you know I usually add a couple to in case if I see if, in, if I can get more views you know why not for free it would not be a bad idea so I'm just gonna drop a couple of these videos here all right so let's just done you can add I think up to five uh, I don't remember exactly but yeah uh, devices now I'm gonna no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go with TV screens that's a bad idea especially if you're trying to get people to click a site um, tablets uh, it's fine we'll leave it to that uh, mobile it's fine we can leave it now usually what I do is I usually target certain devices only uh, that would be a much more better idea in my opinion so I mean you, you can do this I, did, I have some campaigns that I just do all of them except TV screens I never do TV screens but um, you know computers mobile devices tablets I do all of them sometimes it really depends on the campaign but in this case let's just go with computers to keep it really simple uh, frequency capping I don't want to do that you know actually there are some cases that you want to do frequency capping but in this case it's basically prevent it's gonna prevent people from seeing your ads or watching your videos more than a certain amount uh, so that's the idea with this schedule we're just gonna leave it to that now this is the ad group I'm gonna call it discovery okay so this is gonna be where uh, we're just gonna do our discovery ads first and this is gonna be just a general audience all right so I'm just gonna uh, select select the uh, audience that I want again household income I usually go 30 40 above and also age 55 64 above uh, 64 below basically uh, do don't do 65 plus um, and also unknown I, I don't want to go for that because you get some weird stuff when you select unknown <laughs> so um, keywords and the only thing I usually select here is topics if you want to get really specific you can you can go with keywords as well so topics I'm just gonna see what I can find related to fleet marketing you know uh, online business or stuff like that uh, there are some good stuff here that pre-selected ones um, actually there you go so this is one that I enjoy that that I think it does very well usually and um, audiences actually this can be another one Let's see if we can find anything fleet related here there's you know clickbank strategy so you, you can really really um, narrow this down take a look just what happened so when you select one of these and one of these basically what happens is that you select you you, you want an audience that selects both of these 
that has both of these means that someone's looking for MLM opportunities or business opportunities at the same time interested in affiliate marketing so you know um, it's pretty powerful you know like you can do you can get really some targeted narrow audience so let's see if you just have 70,000 impressions it is very low I mean uh, I'm gonna test this honestly because um, yeah I'm just gonna test this because this is actually very low this can be either potentially really good or potentially not get us any views so we'll have to see um, so bidding I'm just gonna you know the thing is usually when you do this now this is something I've noticed recently guys uh, you you know usually when you get views like this it costs like if you have a good video maybe 20 cents 15 cents uh, at the beginning it might cost a little bit more maybe like uh, 30 40 50 cents even in some cases um per view so uh but you know like what i would do recently like i realized that if i just go with the uh, bit that i think it's gonna hit like usually for example if i know it's gonna be a 20 cents video uh, 20 cents per view video I usually bid like 40 cents to so just be sure but what I realize is that when you do bids like that it, it kind of sometimes doesn't get views sometimes it happens so you see like your campaign is approved and running but you're not getting any views like it doesn't make sense so um, what I to just to be safe I usually go with like four dollars or something it, this is never gonna hit four dollars I'm gonna tell you right now it's impossible for you to get a view for four dollars all right but uh, to just be sure to just start getting some traffic and then eventually you're gonna adjust it that's what I do then I see like you know when I see the average price and then I kind of adjust it and just fix this later on so let's go ahead and get our video okay so the video we wanted to target was this one okay let's see just put it right here and we're gonna go discovery right just a very simple ad just get people to watch this video right that's the idea here there you go guys so we got our ad very simple and this is how it's gonna look on computers there you go so that's the search engine search results ad and then there's a suggested like a recommended videos part you know so let's just create a campaign now this is one video right so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually go, gonna go to the campaign here just go here I have a couple of test ads right in case if you're not familiar this is my um, what do they call it? The staging ad account, not my main account. This is where we usually test the ads, run it for a while, make sure they work fine, and then we'll just you know move it to the main one. So let's see. Let's go here. So we're just gonna go to the uh, campaign or ad group again. I'm gonna add another video, right? So I'm just gonna click here and uh, add another video. So I'm just gonna go find the video that I want to add advertise. There you go. That's the second one I want to advertise. And as you see, I follow really the same concept here. I'm not doing anything crazy with the titles. You can get creative if you have a specific videos about specific subjects, but I'm not uh, going crazy here. I'm just really keeping it simple. This is the format that has been worked in past and works for me, and I don't want to reinvent the wheel really. So, so I'm just using the same thing. Very simple, right? So I'm just going to save this ad real quick. There we go. This is our second ad. So we got two ads running in this, right? So we got two ads running in this particular uh, ad group. So let's go back to the campaign real quick. So what I want to do right now, I'm going to go back to the campaign again, and I'm going to add another ad group. Now this is going to be a um, this is going to be a in-stream ad, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. We're just going to go create a new one ad group, right? So we're just going to call this ad group in-stream so let's go ahead and uh, do this usual stuff that we do right uh, I'm just gonna go with the age and demographic and everything now this is the important part guys so for the audience you want to target the audience that you just created right so we're just gonna select this now another thing that I actually forgot to mention guys uh, was that you could when you were creating the audience you could actually create you could put all both of these videos in one audience group so you didn't have to actually separate them but i usually separate them to just in case if i want to if i want to use them in for for future videos for different videos for future campaigns basically so i do that but you could put them in the same audience group it doesn't really matter uh, and this campaign is only going to target that as i said uh one of the things that you know you want to remember is that 
because this video these videos don't have any views at the moment because the discovery ad is not running yet right so these videos don't have any views yet so they are not uh, this campaign even if the in-stream ad gets approved it's not gonna get any views yet so you just gotta give it some time for the discovery ad to get some views and then this is gonna start showing some impressions and views all right so that's it this is the only thing that we're gonna do no topics placements anything like that so I, same as before I'm gonna go with the four dollars again it's very high but it's just that you know you want them you want it to run so I'm just gonna copy my in-stream video and uh, we're gonna click skippable in-stream ad and I'm going to uh, basically uh, get, get put my URL here there you go final URL and display URL I'm just gonna change it to just the main domain nothing else there you go guys very very simple um, you could play with this kind of you know uh, what is it you could just play with this and see which ones you like all that stuff uh, you could play with different headlines stuff like that see which one converts better usually it doesn't make a huge difference but maybe a couple of percentage percents you know could work if you're getting a lot of views uh, it could make a difference all right guys so just save the ad group and there you go so our ad group is just gonna be running and just like that so guys as I said here's how this is gonna work uh, the in-stream ad is not going to get any views right now or impressions because the discovery ads is not running yet and those videos are not getting any views at the moment. So the moment discovery ads gets views, uh, you're going to see some impressions and views in, in, in the in-stream one. All right, guys. So this is pretty much uh, how I run these campaigns. So I got to show you a couple of important stuff, uh, some important, some other stuff that I want to share about this, and then we're gonna wrap this video up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you get some value from this. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel if you're not a subscriber. Also, one more thing: if you want to learn more, click the link in the description. That's gonna take you to the program where you can learn all this stuff in details you've never seen, guys. You know, this is this was a really a quick brush through the whole thing, but there's a lot of details when it comes to doing advertising right youtube advertising specifically because it's a youtube it's a video based you got to get it right so there's a lot of stuff that you got to know and if you want to learn more if you want to really become a true affiliate marketer and do this right definitely check out the link in the description that's going to take you to a place where you can learn all this stuff in details thank you so much guys make sure you subscribe i'm making videos every single day and uh, you know we're going to talk about a lot of different advertising stuff advertising resources and a lot of funnel strategies and you know affiliate marketing strategies in general so definitely subscribe if you're not a subscriber thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next one